here we near the end of term, um, but this is um, one of our favourite events of the year at Bilingual, where we celebrate, we have a chance to sit back and celebrate um, after a, another year of hard work in schools and all the EL provision that we've put in place. So our vision, which is what we're working to, what's behind everything we do. And it's really an ethos that we're after, an educational ethos that harnesses the linguistic and cultural diversity and really values that as a backdrop to everything that goes on in school so that all our children and young people, um, whether multilingual or monolingual, feel, um, feel valued, feel that all their languages are valued, so that the academic um, progress and success can be as good as possible. And our mission is to improve academic outcomes by doing that. So that language aware teaching and value in multilingualism. It's two, two simple names really. And uh, I just wanted to say I think it was very interesting um, the words that you said right at the very beginning of uh, the introduction to this afternoon because I'm hoping to be able to touch onto aspects of identity as related to language in what I have to say. However, I also think that because languages are different to each other, they leave little spaces in between them where things like some of the things on the screen now can creep in. So things like power, dominance, influence, those sorts of things can creep in. And what they do is they end up putting languages in hierarchies. And underlying our work are these values. We had a lot of discussion in our strategy session about you know, what, what is our work all about? What are the values behind this? And you know, equity, diversity and inclusion gets talk, talked about a lot. But we feel that sometimes the multilingual aspect of that um, doesn't get um, flagged up and championed. But it is a key part of your identity, isn't it? and your cultural identity. And that idea of inclusivity and collaborating with schools, um, it is a social justice issue so that all children and young people can reach their potential. I think it's really important that we don't make assumptions about people in terms of their languages, in terms of the way they speak, in, the way, in terms of the way they pronounce, because we owe this to ourselves as human beings who need to cooperate and share the same planet, and we owe it to the children. So thank you very much for that. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So with a lot of the things that I've done is what I would do in the early years anyway. I think it's quite an easy thing to... Um, and it's quite, yeah, yeah, really easy transition. I think it's the year five kids coming in. Yeah. You know, yeah. quite a high level of English that have been spoken in the past. Yeah. They are learning English and they've got another language. They are seeing the aren't they? And that, that is some, sometimes not seen by the other ones. They have to be away or to do a particular thing so they appear and of course bring out the things as well and then just friendships and things could be yeah. quite tricky at the start because culturally there's so many differences. So if they click on the um, record button, they can read out that photo and then hear themselves play it back. So it's a you know, really nice way of being able to have that. which is that we are not providing as inclusive um, um, a classroom and pedagogy as we could do. So keep those multilingual students in mind and what we do to benefit them will benefit all our children. So thank you for coming today and have a wonderful rest over the summer. Thank, thank you. you.